that you know part of journey work when you get a chance to do it you can get the free of charge book uh, from our website and and download the process work you can do many videos there but inside the the original journey process after you've done a full clearing and emptying out there comes an invitation to ultimately forgive and i found you cannot forgive not really as long as you're holding on to this anger so i wanted you to just try a little experiment here and if you'd be willing you know just just give it a shot and just think of someone that you know in your life that you're feeling just fed up with or pissed off with or exasperated with or someone where it's just like enough already when are you going to get the message you know and it, maybe you're not feeling like that woman was with over anger all the time but you know what i'm talking about where you know that if you said i forgive you that they wouldn't be real words they just be lip service so just inviting into your awareness someone right now and actually in your room and you might want to shut the door so that you can be private because some of the work that we do is out loud work where you're going to need to speak out loud is imagine who this person is just bring up in your awareness who there is a person that you don't feel very forgiving towards right now that it would feel unnatural to actually offer forgiveness to because you're angry at them or resentful of them or exasperated or fed up or had enough or just don't want to hear it again so right now speak out that person's into your room as if you're almost inviting that person to come into the room right now so speak out their name right now and let's do a little divine experiment here let's take a nice deep breath in letting it out and closing your eyes and now bearing in mind this person who you just brought up in your awareness and you welcomed them into the room you've just spoken the name of that person out loud i'd like you to go to a recent time where you just got fed up you got pissed off you got exasperated you got triggered you got upset with them you got angry at them frustrated just it could be a very mild response mildly irritated but so, there was some reaction and i'd like you to actually bring up in your awareness a specific time in the last month let's say or the last two months where go back to that specific time where you had an external reaction where this reaction of feeling fed up pissed off and irritated upset angry frustrated whatever it was and go back to the memory and bring that memory up in your awareness and really step into that memory of you reacting you may have been projecting or even just thinking the words but there was a reaction inside of you so go back to that specific memory and now roll the cameras back to the moment right before the action reaction right before you reacted be it internally or externally roll the cameras back to that impulse to react so roll the cameras back to the moment before the reaction and then roll the cameras back again to the millisecond before that impulse to react came and open up time and just stretch it and what were you feeling the moment before you reacted what were you really feeling so there's the reaction that's the external then the impulse to react and prior to that 
what were you really feeling? Now, if there's anger or upset, frustration, fed upness, pissed offness, what if that's just a cover? What if that's a defense against feeling something much deeper? And so just speak out loud, what was it that you were feeling? Just speak out loud, what was that emotional feeling? One, two, three, speak it out loud. And if that were a cover to what's really buried inside, I'd like you to take this anger reaction, which is nothing more than just a cover, a defense, and just rip it off. Just rip that cover off. Just take hold of it and rip it off. And then asking, what was I really feeling? Underneath that cover, what is the real emotions here? I mean, as I'm doing it, and I just did it, I've got hurt coming up. But I don't know what you've got coming up. But if that whole surface reaction is taken out of the way and it's recognized to be the cover, the defense that it is, what is the real emotion that's here underneath it? And if you really open with that emotion and really allow it all to come flooding and just be as it is, just embracing it, allowing it, asking what's even deeper than that emotion? What's in the core of that emotion? What were you really feeling? prior to erecting that defense and reacting. What is the real emotion that's here? Really open your heart to that and speak it out loud. What's really here? And just surrounding whatever's here with your own love and embracing it. You don't have to fix it, change it, make it any different. Just the welcoming of it. As if it's allowed, this thing that you've been avoiding feeling, just the welcoming of it. And you might even say to yourself, I'm, I'm really willing later to do a little process with myself to get to the emotional root cause of whatever this is. But I really want to listen to myself with this. I want to hear what my body has to say. And if this emotion had words it could speak right now, what might the words be? And just give a voice to them. Just let it, whatever words want to come out right now. It's all welcome. On the count of three, just speaking out loud whatever words want speaking right now. And now asking this, if you were to do a, a journey process and really finish and get to real clarity and release with this, if you would finally be willing to forgive this other person from a place of wholeness, that would feel more real to you. 
if after getting the book and doing the process work, you would it be in your heart to forgive this person wholly from your heart. And take a nice deep breath in and letting it out and just letting your being and your body know that you're willing to listen and open up to yourself. And another nice deep breath in. And letting it out and opening the eyes, opening the eyes now. And I can imagine that if you were like I was and you really did the divine experiment, that you you found that your surface reaction simply was that a reaction and then when you took the defendedness the cover out of the way there were actually much deeper emotions stored inside that you've been afraid to meet that you haven't been willing to meet and so it's really an invitation not from me but from your own soul to undergo some work to really find out where did this all come from and to really release and let go and come to a place of wholesome forgiveness and so the body and the being can heal and i thought i'd take you into a a little meditation right now where we can go to different parts of the body and you can really learn to befriend your body not be afraid of the emotions. I mean, we all are afraid of the uncomfortable emotions, but instead to welcome the emotions, to befriend them, to be willing to listen to them and to open to them. And even that alone can bring you to a sense of peace in yourself. And then if you really uncover something that is of a deep nature, you've got you know the website to go to and other work that you can do both online and with the book and and you can really come to a deep sense of peace and well-being with that but i'd love for us to start establishing a working friendship with our bodies our emotions aren't stored in our head they're not something that the mind fabricates the emotions are stored very organically and naturally in our body. And so it's a beautiful thing to begin to learn to really welcome the body, to be allowed to speak, to be allowed to share, to be allowed to express, to be allowed to feel. And I think you'll be amazed, but it actually brings you to a sense of peace with yourself, at home with yourself, instead of fighting against the emotions inside because it's like one part of you has got your foot on the gas pedal where you know you're really feeling the strong emotion and another part of you've got your foot on the brake no 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 i don't want to feel that and it creates this internal friction this internal stress inside of us and that's what's creating so much external projection of stress out out loud uh these days <laughs> during especially during this time of uncertainty and so it's time we learn to welcome our emotions time we learn to really befriend ourselves and to befriend our feelings and, and actually hear what our body has to say to us it may surprise you the wisdom that's stored inside of you so though this isn't the in-depth journey work it will give you a taste of what it's like to feel at home and to really welcome uh, the emotions and learn to befriend them in a natural, very organic way. So if you'd like to join me, let's take a nice deep breath in, letting it out and closing the eyes again. And again, taking a deep breath in of openness and breathing that into the room. And a deep breath into the willingness to meet 
whatever your soul gives rise to, breathing that willingness into the room. And a deep breath in to trust. Trust in yourself, trust in life, trust in your soul's desire to liberate you, your body's desire to heal you. Just breathing trust into the room. And then an innocent exposure, the willingness just to be transparent, honest, naked with yourself, breathing that exposure into the room. And letting your heart be as wide as the world, wide enough to welcome all the feelings that live inside of you, even your ancestors' emotions. That's how vast this vast open sky of all acceptance is. And now turning your gaze inside the body, and you already know this, the body's like this container full of all kinds of emotions. You know, our emotions are like little kids, you know. Some of our feelings, they're loud and attention-seeking, like a little kid wanting our attention. Some of our emotions, they're shy and tentative and scared of us. In some of your feelings, you've rejected them so many times that like a little rejected child, they don't even come up anymore. They hide behind closed doors and underneath lids. So you might even say you're sorry to all the feelings that live inside of you for pushing them away, rejecting them and say to your body and your being and your heart, for once, I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to be present. I'm willing to feel and to hear what you have to say. And sending out that heartfelt welcome to all the feelings that live inside of you. And now locating inside of your body some part of your body where you feel a little tension or stress or holding or hiding or contraction going on. Locate that area. You know what I'm talking about, where there's a little tension or contraction or holding or hiding going on. And take a deep breath in of acceptance and flooding that area with acceptance. So breathing acceptance in and now flooding that area with acceptance. Letting it soften and be marinated and tenderized and opened. And if spontaneously there are a feeling starting to arise out of that area, I wonder what that emotion might be. It may be as quiet as a whisper. So really soften and tenderize that area. And if there were a feeling there, what might it be? Or if this area could speak and had words, what might it say to you? If it could speak, and you gave it a voice and just allow the words to arise right now and speak them out loud into your room. Sometimes you don't know what they are until they come out of your mouth. 
It's like you hear them at the same time that they're arising. And so if this area, if you were to give it a voice, and it could speak, it had words, what would it say? Just speak those words out loud into your room. Or maybe there aren't words arising. Maybe your picture's coming up. If a picture's there, step into it. How are you feeling in the picture? Or maybe there isn't a picture here. Maybe there's some sort of cover or lid over this area, as if it's hiding something. Let's pretend that there is some sort of cover or lid over this area and take hold of that lid and right now lift it off. Just ta take hold of it and lift it off. What's hiding there right now? How does it make you feel? Just welcoming whatever's here and whatever's not here. And taking a deep breath in of acceptance and flooding it with acceptance. And now coming to neutral inside your body, coming to a place of neutral and finding another place inside your body where there may be a little tension or stress or holding or hiding or contraction going on. Locate that area right now. Now take a nice deep breath in of acceptance and flooding that area with acceptance. Letting it soften and be marinated and tenderized and opened up. And just almost as if you're allowing whatever feeling is there to come up naturally of its own accord. Just asking if there were a feeling that's here, what might the feeling be? If there were a feeling, what might it be? If it could speak and had words, what might this feeling say? How does it make you feel emotionally? What is the real feeling? Just speak out the words. It may not be at all what you're expecting, but if it had words, what would it say right now? Or if there's a picture, step into the picture. How are you feeling in that picture? Or if there is some sort of lid or cover, take hold of the lid right now and lift it off. What's hiding here? Just welcoming whatever's here and whatever's not here. Taking in a deep breath of acceptance and letting the area be flooded with acceptance. And now coming to neutral. And now saying to your body that for once, you're going to be willing to listen to yourself, to be open with yourself, to really hear what the body's trying to communicate. 
and to allow the feelings that are here and that you're going to stay open and continue in this open relationship with your being and your body and take a nice deep breath in of acceptance and flooding your body with acceptance and another nice deep breath in of acceptance and flooding the body with acceptance and now becoming aware of your own awareness that your own presence is vast and spacious free and endless in front of you that your own awareness is spacious and free and endless behind that your own presence is infinitely vast and spacious and open to all sides. It's fast below. It's sky like above. And just resting here. as if you're at the very bottom in the fathomless depths of an ever deepening ocean of stillness. And what if every thought were like so much flotsam and jetsam drifting on the surface as you remain at the very bottom in the fathomless depths of this ever deepening? Taking a nice deep breath in and sighing it out. And another nice deep breath in and sighing it out. And continuing to rest. So deep in this ocean as it so that eyes open or eyes closed same same taking another nice deep breath in and letting it out and one more nice deep breath in and sigh it out into your room. And you can open your eyes now into this vast ocean of presence. And another nice deep breath in. Sighing it out. And another nice deep breath in. 
and really sighing it out. And if the eyes have not yet opened, this is your invitation to open the eyes now. And so, beloveds, I, I pray that this has been of some benefit to you to begin your journey with befriending your body, befriending the emotions, wanting to learn what it is the body and the soul have to teach you and starting this journey of inner listening. And, and that my prayers is that you fall so in love with truth inside yourself 